Hello and welcome to another Circus Brighton tutorial. Hi, I'm Lily at Circus Brighton and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to change direction of one or both of your poi so that you can start transitioning between one move and another. Pause now for the times to jump sections. Today I'm going to be using Flames and Games Rainbow Sock Poi. I've just tied a knot with a handle in the end, so I can hold on to that. Inside these I've just got juggling balls because they've got a bit of extra weight than tennis balls have, so it helps build up my arm muscles. Um, and you just pop those inside um, and make them as long or as short as you like. I'll stick a link in the comment section below if you want to check those ones out. <laughs> Once you've learned a few moves, you want to start putting the moves together and start getting your own flow. Now there are different things that work with different moves. So for example, if you've got the forwards weave, it's really nice to go into the backwards weave because you're following along the same plane. They're both to the side of you or if you want, in front of you and you can just move your body and change direction with that move. Now if you want to check out the tutorial to go from forwards weave to backwards weave, I'm going to stick that link up there or maybe it's up there. Who knows where it's going to be, but it'll be there somewhere. Um, and you can follow that link and learn how to do the forwards weave to the backwards weave. We're going to do a whole video on what moves work really, really nicely together and just starting moves for you. But this one is just going to be about stopping one poi and bringing it into the other direction so that you can go from one move to another. So for example, if you're doing the butterfly in front of you and you want to maybe go into the weave to the side, you're going to need to change the direction of this poi because it's going in the wrong direction. That's going to need to stop and go so that they're both in forwards. And then you can go into the forwards weave just to the side. So for example, if I'm in the forwards weave, if I stop and change the direction of my right poi by, say, hooking it around my elbow and bringing it in the other direction, then now I can bring it in front of me and go into that move. Now my top two ways of stopping one point and getting it to change direction so that you can move from one move to another is... Get on with it! Yes! Get on with it! Number two, stalls, which is stopping the point as it's spinning and bringing it back in the different direction. Um, stalls are my number two because they are actually really, really tricky to perfect and I definitely haven't perfected my stalls yet but the premise of them is to get you started so you're going to start doing it just in front of you change stop change direction stop change direction and what happens is the other one just carries on going so once you've practiced that one on its own you're going to bring in the other one once that one's spinning you're just going to ignore that one just keep that one working on autopilot stop bring it back in stop bring it back in and you can stop it wherever you want so you can stop it maybe here and bring it back in or over there or maybe cross and bring it back in now just practice stopping it starting it and then you can practice it in front of you or you can practice stalling it to the side, which takes a little bit more practice than just dropping it down in front of you because you're working against gravity as well. But the idea is that you're just going to be stopping it and bringing it back in the other direction. So you have to have the full control of the poi at the top. So that is my number two way of changing the direction of the poi. Number one, which is my favourite move, even with fire, so long as you do it fast enough and it doesn't hold onto the body too long, is bouncing it off bits of your body to change direction. Whatever part of your body seems to be quite close to that particular move. If, for example, I'm doing a nice little spin to you, I can maybe bounce it off the back of my elbows by just lifting my arms up and bouncing off your arms. And that changes the direction of the poi. You could try it one at a time. Or if you're in horizontal motion, you could actually bounce them off the side of your body. Or if you're wearing really dodgy socks like I am, what you can also do is bounce them off your feet. So, top two ways of changing the direction of your poi, individually or together, are stools. Bounce 
cutting them off your body. You end up with some fun bruises as well. Now when you can combine the two, you'll be able to come together loads of different moves in a really nice smooth way. so much for watching this tutorial let me know in the comments how you get on and if you find any really really cool ways of changing the direction of one point or both let me know so i can try it out as well that'd be really cool thanks so much for watching i'll see you next time bye